Looks like I have found the perfect power station for my needs. Fossibot F800. As always, I bought it with my own money, so I can say whatever I want about it. After 20 plus days of testing, I can only recommend this device. And you can check the description for the referral link, which should give you 50 bucks discount. My main purpose for the power station is to be able to power my studio flashes in locations when there is no external power, like rapeseed field. I've tested Anker Powerhouse 5 to 1 for this and it failed miserably, link here. But it was rated only for 200 watt continuous output and 4 to 500 for overload, such output. It was not able to charge even one of my studio flashes, which is 200 watt hours. So I've sent it back, done some research, and since there were no cheap options from Anker, Jackery or EcoFlow with more power, I dived into less known Chinese brands and found this one. There is a saying, if you think something is impossible, ask a Chinese man to do it. And it seems to be true about this power station. Fossi bought F800 is able to charge three big studio flashes at the same time, two times 400 watt seconds and one 200 watt seconds. The charge time is getting two to three times longer when all three are connected and at the full power compared to when they are connected to mains. But it is 1.5 seconds versus 3.5 seconds tops. So it does not matter that much when you are in the outdoor location. For lower power charges, there is no such big impact for the recharge times. And also if you use single flash, charge times are the same as connected to mains because you are not getting into the overload territory of the power station. I would upload separate, more detailed video of how the flashes work with this power station, but I've tested it thoroughly and I'm shocked this small unit is able to do it. This station has bi-directional inverter, so it charges and discharges via the inverter through for the AC outlet. So no external power brick is needed you just used ordinary PC power cable and charging power is up to 400 watts. Which means you can charge it from 0 to 100% within less than one and a half hours. Tested, came around one hour 35 minutes, 80% below one hour. Anker 535 power station, same capacity, charged via AC adapter and USB-C at the same time takes around four hours to charge to 100% and two and a half hours to charge to 80%. So this one is much better. And 500 watt Jackery, which uses lithium ion batteries, takes seven and a half hours to charge from zero to 100. And it is almost twice as expensive as this one. EcoFlow River 2 Pro seems to charge even faster than this one. 70 minutes for 768 watt hours, but it is three times more expensive than this one. And it doesn't end here. Fossibot also generates pure sine AC and can work as UPS because inverter has a pass-through option and switches within 10 milliseconds to batteries, like a real UPS. I've tested this with my PC, two monitors and network switch connected. Works like a charm. It is in bypass mode, so I'm switching off the extension cord to see what happens. And video still plays. This combo, the PC is RTX 4080 based with an old power hungry CPU can be powered by this power station for three hours. And it easily supports my big fridge and can power it for more than seven hours straight. Can support both of my fridges at the same time actually. And since the duty cycle for the fridge is around eight hours a day, it could sustain them for at least 20 hours. And fridges generally keep the cool for another 15 hours. So if we get a power outage here, my food is safe for around 36 hours in two fridges. Max AC output power is 800 watt to F800, but in theory, it can be overloaded to 1600 watt. And it is confirmed during flash tests. 
it has 100 watt power delivery via USB-C plus two 20 watt USB-C ports and two USB-A with quick charge 3.0. It also uses lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are much safer option than lithium ion. They do not catch fire and they got much longer life cycle. Based on my measurements, the inverter efficiency seems to be between 80 and 90% and the capacity of 512 watt hours seems to be true. The efficiency of the inverter has both an impact on the charging and discharging via AC. This means you have to push 566 watt hours into the station to fully charge it and you get back around 413 watt hours via AC. But it also depends on the characteristics of the AC devices connected. This was measured with 650 watt LED panel and this small station has been able to power this big LED for more than 39 minutes. And you should be able to get around 500 watt hours from DC outputs like USB-C because the inverter is not involved then. I'm not sure how efficient are small power bricks you charge other brand stations, but I kinda doubt they are even close to 80%. I do not find any cons for this station, although I cannot swear the longevity of it because I have it for 30 days. But based on the features it has, this seems to be the best power station for the price. I paid around 250 bucks. Sure, the display is not the most modern. It seems there is no smartphone application to control the station. And maybe the plastic is not the best in the world, but it's quite similar to the Anker I've tested. The built-in light is supposed to have three levels of brightness, but I'm not sure how to get this. It has some flashing modes like Mayday and its light color temperature is a bit less pleasant while going to sleep than Anker's because it is cooler. But the light is just an added feature and if you want better light you can attach one via the USB like Aperture MC or any other light tube like this one. For the features it has, it seems to be the best power station you can get for 299 bucks or less with discount. I haven't been able to find anything better for the price. And the best thing about the FossiBot is they also have bigger power station which are loaded with features and are as cheap as this one. Two or three times cheaper than the competition. They have 1200 with 1024 watt hours capacity, 2400 watt with 2048 capacity for 899 and 3300 watt with 3840 watt hour capacity for 1799. So far I can only recommend this one. Referral link with a 50 bucks discount for US viewers is in the description. Of course, I will let you know if it breaks or starts underperforming. That's it for today and cheers mate!